it's me, Ex-Canadensis, and today we're going to be unboxing Winter Break Jade, and this is actually the last doll I need to complete my Winter Break collection. Um, obviously I've had her for a minute, but she's the last one I needed to, needed to open, and I'm super stoked. I think she's beautiful. She's one of the ones that, like, the makeup and, like, just the look of her in box is blowing me away, and I definitely was a big fan of her according to, like, the art on the back of the box. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get her out of the box. I will be right back, and when we return, Jade will be free from the box. And Jade is out of the box, and it really does go without saying at this point, but I really like her. I really, really like her. Winter Break has seriously just, every single doll is so fantastic. It's going to be such a pain to pick a favorite, but I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video that's an overview of all of Winter Break, as well as washing out all of their hair within the next week or two, so if you would like to see that, let me know if you're interested in that video anyway. I won't make it if nobody wants it, but you know. Um, so now we're gonna look at Jade's first outfit on the Winter Break doll. So for starters, her makeup. I really appreciate that her makeup is very different. It's out there compared to the other Jade dolls, which is great because Jade's major is actually makeup design. And in the show, she always has really interesting makeup looks. So I thought it was interesting that her Wave 1 and Sheer dolls don't have the most interesting makeup out of the entire set. Of course, that's my opinion, but you know, <laughs> I, I think it was the general consensus as well. I've seen other people mention it as well. Um, her makeup is almost completely plain up to the eyebrow. She just has iridescent shimmer. And then the bottom eye, she did a lot of, um, or, you know, she did. Um, under her eye, she has a lot of makeup. So she has a thick black eyeliner with a blue to green gradient of color that's pretty low down. Like on your actual eye, that would be pretty low. And then of course she has these little white stars underneath. She's got four of them up to the double cat eye. It's very pretty. She has brown eyebrows as well. And then her lips are like a really, really like light baby pink color, which I think looks fantastic. And then the blush color as well. I think all of the makeup on her face really complements her skin well. And the way that they've emphasized her lower eye with their makeup look makes her, um, makes her face look different, you know? Like it makes her almost look like she has a different eye shape than the other girls, which she doesn't. She doesn't at all, it's just, um, it's the illusion that makeup creates, and I really like that. Um, I think this is probably my favorite face on a Jade doll so far. I'll have to, um, really sit and think about it, but I'm pretty sure she's my favorite so far. Um, okay, so next up we're gonna look at her hat, which is, I believe, called a toque. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, Supreme themed. I think, I like the Sparkle brand that they've come up with, you know, for Supreme, but I, it's getting a little bit old because we've been seeing it so much. It's probably just a favorite brand of the creators and I understand that, but I'd like to see more little parodies because especially with like Poopsie and stuff, Poopsie had so many brand parodies, um, definitely more than Rainbow High has been showing us so far. So I don't know, it's not really a bad thing. I'm just, uh, I've noticed that this is extremely common in Rainbow High. Like I think, didn't Skylar have on her jacket too? Several of them in, in Winter Break have, and then in series one, a lot of them had it too, so. Anyway, um, her hat is white with green and black stripes on the, it's not a bill, the brim? I don't know, I don't know hat term, sorry. And it has a big black puff ball. It's actually really soft. It's not like a, like, you know those cheap Santa hats that have that like white puff ball that's like crunchy? It's not like that at all. It's actually pretty good quality. Like it didn't have to be, but it is. And it is a knitted hat. It's really impressive. I really like it. Her outfit is ridiculous. It has so many, components. We have this big thick jacket. We have a turtleneck of some sort underneath that actually looks like a long sleeve this time. Yes. Um, and she has overalls and her shoes. There's really a lot going on in this outfit. So I'm excited to see how many outfit pieces we truly get because um, there's also the second outfit still that we haven't even touched yet. Her jacket is super interesting. It actually has metal zipper, um, zipper tracks. No zipper pull though. Um, it's interesting though, cause this is a real zipper track. So they definitely could have made a zipper actually like a functional zipper happen, but probably increased the cost a little bit too much. But I'm thinking it must've been part of the design plan because they used real metal, metal zipper tracks. And I don't know, it's very interesting. Okay, the jacket is insanely detailed. It has two working pockets on each side. It has a real working drawstring here to cinch the waist in. 
Um, and it's like a windbreaker material again, like a really nice high quality material that they used here, like a real windbreaker would be made out of. And the inside is fully lined as well and it looks really, really good. It has a black thing. This is like for hiding the zipper once you've zipped it all up that like hides it. I'm not really sure what the point of that is, but it, I do have a windbreaker like this and it has that. Um, the hood is super cute as well. It has those little things where if it was a real jacket, you would, these would have little buttons on them and you could button it to keep like more of you warm. <laughs> um, and it's attached to this hood, which is almost big enough, honestly, for her to wear it. Like it's pretty big, but it would have to be enormous for her to wear it. So that's why they didn't. It's got a RH right there. The back has this interesting diagonal lines uh, design. It says established 2020 and then over here it says 22, which, is that her little number? Did she have numbers on this doll at all? No? Oh no, but that's Skylar's. I wonder what the 22 means. It's my age, so. <laughs> anyway, the back of the jacket is super detailed as well. I'm not really sure what the reference on this one is, but it has Japanese text here. It most likely says Rainbow High in Japanese, but I do not know. Um, of course, it says Rainbow High right here. And then here it says Team Sparkle established 2020 Rainbow High. I think it's almost supposed to look like, like an Olympic jacket. Like she went to some kind of like event, um, like the world championships or something. It's very interesting. And it's got more Japanese here. It's really interesting. Um, I wonder what it, what the reference is. It must be something specific with this very specific design. And then again, the front has these two working pockets. There's a white one and both of them have little, um, lids <laughs> um and there's there's the black one right here and they really are working pockets which is extremely impressive considering um and then i'm gonna take the jacket off for you real quick i think if i can get it off here if not i will wait oh yeah it comes right off sorry usually you have to take the hands off oh my gosh oh the little turtleneck is so cute um, so the turtleneck is black with white and green stripes, and it looks like a cropped turtleneck. Um, it's cropped to right here, and it says rainbow on um, some of the stripes. It doesn't seem to be a regular distance between them. It's very cute. I love that it's, I love the turtleneck part. It's really, really cute. I think Jade, Jade looks really good in like black choker. She wears them in the show. So I like that this is like sort of similar to that. All right. And then her big main outfit piece are these overalls and they're really, really nice. So she has these faux buckles here and then everything goes on the doll by um, a Velcro thing in the back. She has a, it is a working pocket here, but sewing this on kind of made it a little bit smaller, but are you actually gonna use the pocket for anything? Like you don't have a little set of car keys for her to put in there or anything. Um, there's this little, um, I never know what these are. Are they for like attaching equipment to? I don't know. Anyway, she has these little belt loops, which really are belt loops. Like you could put a belt through there if you wanted to. She has working pockets on each side that have the Supreme or Sparkle branding on them. And then the design has these little um, hexagons. Mine's a little bit not lined up correctly, but I don't care at all. Like, I really don't. That one's lined up really well, though. Little hexagons, on, and then they're also on the outside, but these ones end in a pocket. So it is, yeah, it's a real working pocket, but it's, like, buckled together with this fake buckle, so you can't really open it. But again, like, do you, do you need to put anything in this pocket? I love it, though. It's so cool. And then she has these little zipper, faux zippers, obviously, at the bottom of the pants. I really, really like this. Like her overalls are super impressive. The amount of detail, really, really nice. And then she has her snow boots, which say rainbow all across the little, this part. <laughs> and then she has little green shoelaces and they actually go on. I'm just gonna take her off of this for you so you can see them, sorry. <laughs> okay. They wrap around and then she has this, um, the sole of her shoe is a transparent green material. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna put her back on the snowboard and so I will- So I have moved the camera down so that I could show you the second outfit in better detail as well as stand her up so that you can see her in better detail as well. There are two things that I forgot to mention for her and I actually forgot this in a lot of the Winter Break reviews, but every single Winter Break doll, despite not coming with earrings, has her ears pierced so that you can share the past doll's earrings with them or the two Winter Break dolls that did come with earrings can be shared. I really appreciate that. And then also, she has painted fingernails. <laughs> and so does the rest of Winter Break. I totally forgot to mention that in most, if not all of my reviews, so. <laughs> Sorry. It is a really good quality point. 
Also, she comes with a comb. It is the same as the Wave 1 comb. It looks to be the same color as well. She comes with this rainbow hanger. This is a new hanger design, so this is the first time we're seeing it in Jade's color. And then the skirt hanger is the same as before. And it's in a lime green, too. All right, and then she also comes with a stand, but it is the new style of stand, which has a much thinner stand clip, which just makes it easier to use on the dolls and easier for the dolls to pose once they are on the stand. I've also fully redressed Jade again so that you could see her in better detail, and I wanted to show you her snowboard. So it has this um, kind of like a checkerboard or diamond pattern with RH, but they're like melting, <laughs> and it's black and green. It's super like in your face, and I really, really like that. The little footholds as well are super bright green. I really like the super bright green color. This was actually, the prototype Jade was more of this color scheme, and I prefer it. I prefer this color scheme, so I actually made a custom with this color scheme. And then the bottom of the snowboard says rainbow and has the same pattern as the front. I really like it. I really like all of the snowboards and all of the skis. <laughs> and I'm excited to complete my set because now I have three girls on snowboards and three girls on skis. Alrighty, and then her second outfit I have here on a Series 1 Release 2 Jade. So basically each, each Series 1 doll had a second release and the second release has a different makeup look. It's subtle, but I just wanted to let you know in case you're in love with this doll like I am, that's what's going on. All right, so she comes with this big, black, fluffy jacket. I actually had a jacket just like this when I was a kid, except it was brown, and I loved it. It was my favorite thing. So having one in doll form in this level of detail is so cool. It has a faux leather all across the body, and then this, like, you know what I'm talking about if you've ever worn a jacket like this, but this, like, cheapy-feeling fluff. Like, it's not super soft, but it is warm. And that's what it is, and it's the exact material, and it looks so good. She also has it all on the inside, um, around the edges, just like one of these jackets really would. It's so cool, and of course, around the collar, it's super luxurious. It says rainbow on the back of this collar, and it is embroidered. It looks super, super good. And then, in order to, like, close it, if, if it really worked anyway, it has these little buckles here. Um, it's not made to actually close, but they still included the little clasps so that it looked like a real jacket. The level of detail that the Rainbow High team um, commits to in order to, even if it's not going to be fully functional, is seriously impressive. The realism that these dolls hit is so, so high. It's seriously impressive. She has metal zipper tracks on both sides. Neither of them are working. Of course, there's no zipper pull, but still, it's a really, really nice, fun detail. The back of the jacket is mostly undetailed, it just has a few little things that every jacket will have. My cat is climbing into a box right now, I'm, I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, it has these little, sorry, I'm not really sure what they're for to be honest, probably just for um, construction <laughs> of the jacket. And they're also on the sleeve and she has these big shoulder pads as well. This jacket is really, really nice. I think it's one of my favorite Rainbow High jackets and Rainbow High clothing pieces of all time. I really hope we get more pieces like this. I really like it. Um, just like the, in terms of the like the shape and design of it, I just really specifically like this style of jacket. So I hope we see more. She has a little t-shirt. It's, it's a crop top, but the skirt is very high-waisted like a lot of other Rainbow High clothes, and it is just a white t-shirt. It has a little melting smiley face that has like a squiggly smile and it says rainbow in very like graffiti-esque font it's very pretty and then this skirt is so amazing it is a green plaid skirt it's very much like a pencil skirt but it has two slits and then these pleather um like faux leather um uh, borders with studs in it it looks so good i love it i think this is the most jade piece i've seen so far and it's probably one of my favorite rainbow high clothing pieces as well Jade's second outfit for winter break is unreal. I think this is my favorite one. Despite the, like, poppies and Skylars and, and violets, too, I spoke so highly of, but I think this might be my favorite. We'll see. And then she has her black ice skates. They have a very, like, chunky toe on the boot, which I find really cute. And metal blades, and they say R R R R R R R all... Oop, sorry, she's not staying on her stand well because the um, the pleather jacket is very slippery, but that's not a fault of the stand, it's just the material. Anyway, all across the ankle. And of course the, um, the laces are painted. I feel like <laughs> usually doll shoes are not this detailed, so I feel like sometimes I, fr 
I just don't even like Rainbow High is spoiling me. So I'm I sit here and I don't even like point out like oh this piece is painted because most dolls wouldn't do that. All right, for my final thoughts, I'm going to be putting these two on display with the rest of their friends and getting Brett down here so that he can pick his ultimate favorite. So I will see you in just a moment. Here's the first outfits. What do you think? Which one's your favorite? I think Jade, yeah. Really? Yeah. She I don't know. Really well, you're hiding her. Oh, it's just because the it's skis tough. were really hard to arrange on this small shelf. It's tough. It's between the two of them. Poppy and Jade? Yeah. Even if Skylar had her full jacket on? I don't know. <laughs> All right. And then second outfits? Mm. I switched Sonny's skirt, if that matters. <laughs> I wouldn't notice. I don't know. Poor Violet. There we go. Her outfit's nice. Which one, Violet? Yeah. I think Jade has my favorite second outfit. Yeah. I really like, like the jacket. It's Jade and Violet? Yeah, I think so. Not counting the faces, right? Just the outfit? Just the outfit. Okay. I, I need to scrub the those off. All right. So I think my favorite from the first outfits is Poppy, probably by a landslide, to be honest. But it's not fair because all the others, other than Violet, are wearing actual winter gear. And then Violet and Poppy are not. And I'm like, I like those two. But if I were going with the actual winter gear, I think Ruby's is my favorite. But her makeup isn't my favorite. Um, I think Violet is the most improved out of all the Rainbow High dolls. Like, she looks so good in this one, and so does Skylar. Um, Skylar has... Skylar all around, I think, in the, f in the first outfit. <laughs> Did you just hit your head on the ceiling? Oh, that's awesome. Sorry. Um, I think Skylar overall is the best first outfit. Um, and that... I mean, not just the first outfit, but the entire look. Like, the hair and the makeup and everything. All right. And then for the second outfits, it's really tough. But I think it's... Mm, I don't know. I really, really like Poppies and Jades. Like, uh, they were the two I said were going to be my favorites, too, and I got them both on my birthday. <laughs> um, I think... Okay, my favorite in terms of just the pieces, like, versatility, I think it's Skylar. Like, I really, really like both pieces. Um, like, are you kidding me with those pants? They're so cute. Please excuse Kaya behind the others, by the way. I had nowhere else to put her box. <laughs> um... Uh, I don't know, because I really like the flannel jacket that Poppy has. And I just, I really like um, Ruby's as well, but without the hat, I don't like it as much. So I leave the hat on, but the hat doesn't come with it. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go with Jade, y'all. I think Jade for uh, Skylar here and then Jade here. But it could change. It's definitely between these two. Um, all right, so <laughs> that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And please let me know who your favorites are in terms of the first outfits. And, of course, the makeup and hair counts on this section. And then the second outfits. Just know that I changed Sunny. I didn't like how her pants looked with that shirt. And I didn't like the jacket with it. So, And I tried to use these socks to save the look. But I don't think it did. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up with something for her, though. Because she deserves it. <laughs> she deserves to have a good looking outfit. Um, Yeah. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'm so glad I was able to complete winter break. I really, really love them. All right, for real this time. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.